pleasantries dispensed with. It's time for Mustangs basketball, the final home game of the 2023-24 home season. And senior night gonna be Nolan Monash and DJ Harris's last time playing on this court. Court that opened when they were in eighth grade. The two of them. And also starting alongside them is gonna be the pair of the dynamic duo of freshmen Luke Stanley and Riley Allen, as well as Joel Decker taking the tip off. Front range Christian, the bottom the current bottom feeders in the mile high league win this, I believe, at this point in the season. Compared to the Mustangs, six and eight. Mustangs have lost eight of the last. Well, six and nine. Six and ten lost eight of the last nine. As Riley Allen's gonna win the tip off. Mustangs looking for something to do. Allen goes up for three. Does off the front of the rim. And a little scrum for the ball, but the Falcons are gonna come up with it. Good crowd here at the Lone Center tonight. Got more students than I think we've had all season at a basketball game. Great to see that here. Harris goes up and it's gonna get blocked. No foul, but it will be the Mustangs ball going in near the hoop. Finds Monash out behind the line. Finds Allen. Allen goes to text the rim. Monash. Monash for three. Goes off the front of the rim there and rebounded by front range Christian. Got your dynamic duel of seniors as Monash picks it off. Finds Riley Allen who drives in towards the basket. Goes around him. Puts it up. And it goes in. Mustangs take a 2 0 lead early. Great layup there by Riley Allen. And hopefully it's leave the Mustangs don't relinquish for the rest of the night. Rebounded, Luke Stanley gets a hand on it and it's gonna be getting him, but it's gonna be roll away and be picked off by the Falcons. Goes up for three, off the front of the rim, rebounded again though by the Falcons. And the paint decker trying to do a block, does block it and it's gonna be rebounded by Monash. Monash into Harris, Harris finds Stanley. Doing there and rebound by the Falcons. Number three. And it finds the net. 3 2 Falcons. Nash drives in towards the basket and he's going to earn himself a trip to the, to the free throw line. the first one in. We got a, we got a little ball. Makes the second one. We get the Mustangs a one point lead once again. Two minutes into the game here. Moss is out and trying to find a shot. Drives in towards the basket. Ball rolls around a little bit. Mustangs can't get it. That shot up for three. Off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Nolan Monash. Stanley. Out behind tries in. And pick pass. Go. Trying to find Monash, but ends up in the hands of one of the front range Christian players. For three. And that's not going to touch the net or the rim as Chris Jansen goes in for DJ Harris. As that will, unless the Mustangs get a big lead, that will likely be it for DJ Harris's illustrious career on the, De the Denver Academy basketball team. Started in seventh grade with the middle school team and ends here. Hey, Allen looking for support, finds Chris Jansen. Over to Monash, Monash. Looking for someone. Looks like he's thinking about taking it himself, maybe even from the three. No, and the ball's gonna get loose and picked up. And it's gonna be a foul on the Mustangs. And it's gonna be passed in from 
out next to the out near the line. Trying to find support. up for three. Bang! Mustangs back on top, 7-5. Back and forth game here through the first two minutes of this game, of this one. Drives in towards the basket, and he's going to lose control, but it's going, still going to be the Falcons ball out near there. Who thinks the Very early fouls here for the Mustangs, and if they're not careful, they're going to be in. The Falcons are going to be in the bonus if that one goes in to give us a tie game. Is, but rebounded by the Falcons as he drives in towards the basket. Luke Stanley does a good job to get it away, but it's going to travel out of bounds and it's going to be front range Christian's ball. <laughs> near, the bench, near the Denver Academy bench as that's passed in. Riley Allen does a good job, gets kicks it off as he brings it back up. Mustang needs some points. Stanley goes up for three. Off the front. And listless bench for the Mustangs here it was very rowdy during that junior varsity game. And it's a foul. <laughs> Finally, the call's going to go the Mustangs' way as they're going to get the ball given to them out near the three point. Out near there. Oh, out near the front range, Christian hit. Riley Allen up for three. Oh, the rim. Monash gets a hand on him, but can't get the rebound. That's up for three. And doesn't find the net. That one back to put back up, though. And Luke Stanley going to come right at the last minute. And it's going to be the Falcons' ball, but... Still a good job, nonetheless, from Stanley to swat it away and give the Mustangs another chance at it. Allen's gonna get it. Find Stanley. Quickly going towards the paint. Back out to Allen. Stanley. Stanley goes up for the mid-range jumper and puts it in. 9-7 Mustangs. And what a game this is shaping up to be. Mustangs dominant. First two games, pretty dominant affairs, one for each team. Girls losing by uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 for the second night, for the second uh, contest in a row. And JV winning by 30. Oh, Ash. Up for three. Ah, off the front of the ring. For support out near the three-point line. Oh! As that's rebounded, Stanley goes up for it and misses his layup. Mustangs trying to keep this game, trying to keep their lead. But it's a slim one, and Front Range Christian's got the ball. Over to Riley Allen, who looks 
drives in towards the basket. Puts it up, but nothing's going to come of it, and rebounded by the Falcons. Looking for a shot. And a good job. Chris Jansen gets a hand on it, and it's going to be picked by Luke Stanley. And a timeout taken by Doug Anderson, which protects the ball as the Mustangs. Currently, for your home, for the home team, the Mustangs, against Brent Ridge Christian. Looking to get a win here today on senior day, and also the last home game of the season. Monash brings it up, finds Riley now, back to Monash. Luke Stanley has an unguarded three shot, and he's going to miss it. And, you know, at some point, the Mustangs are going to have to start attacking the rim more because the three ball is just not working. Riley Allen not pleased with that. But it is the Falcons' ball nonetheless. The four players haven't been used yet in this game are Henry Stetton and Ryan Mee. Both got a pretty heavy lurk load as that one's up for three. And it goes in. Falcons have a one point lead. Allen for three from fairly deep. Doesn't make it off the rim. This is a very tall front range Christian team, so understandable the Mustangs taking a lot of those long range shots, knowing that they're only going to get maybe one shot at them. Chance of getting the, at making it. Because it's most likely going to get rebounded. That one in and out, rebounded by Chris Jansen. Great vertical leap there. The Mustangs, a team with more skill and agility and speed than size. This is very, two very different teams. It's a front range Christian team with a lot of height. Interesting to see how those two uh, mix together. That goes in. Out behind the three point line. And Ash up for three. Nope. Off the front of the ring. Nolan Monash is the third foul of the game. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Goes in. Finds him. Deep, good pass, very good quick passing from the Falcons. And that's going to get away. Denver Academy going to get the ball. Go! 16 seconds left. Oh, never mind. A for a ranch Christian inbounds it, goes up for it. Doesn't make it. Joel Decker going to get the rebound, though. Riley Allen brings it up, looking to take one last shot this quarter, and the quarter with a bang. Six seconds left. Allen over to Stanley. Stanley with less than three seconds left. Goes up with it, and doesn't quite put it in. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of action. And it's 10. Okay. Right there. It's okay. All right. Isaac, she's coming to see you. No, <laughs> no, not going to see him. Change of plans. Okay. I thought you wanted to see Isaac. <laughs> Just checking things out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Second quarter action of Mustangs basketball for you. It's currently 10-9 in favor of the front range Christian Falcons. Mustangs looking to change their fortunes here in the second quarter. <laughs> and make some adjustments that will hopefully give them what it takes for them to give them an edge in succeeding in this game. And getting one more win on getting another win this season. Uh, it will be their seventh as Riley Allen's gonna get that ball loose. And that one's up. And it's nothing's gonna be doing and rebounded. Doug Anderson not pleased with the team's lack of rebounding in this game. Up. And that was gonna find the net, and it's gonna be 12 to 9. Front range Christian. The Mustangs now, now need a couple of shots to go in to get this beat back. Hopefully they're able to do that. Jansen. Jansen drives in. Goes up with it. And looks like it's going to be a favorable call for the Mustangs. And it will indeed. It's a foul on the Falcons, and Chris Jansen's going to be doing the inbounding duties for the Mustangs. Uh, looks to be a. Stack play here for Mustangs. Um, interesting coaching choice. Uh, I guess, yeah, Norm Monash uh, sitting right at the beginning of the second quarter with obviously having three fouls of five allowed. Now it goes up, it goes over, Stanley goes up for three. Makes it! Tie game! Great shot, Luke Stanley out from near the corner. And it's gonna go and it's gonna give the Mustangs put him right back into this game. It's tied at 12. Chris Jansen picks it off. And he says that that three put a little energy back into the Mustangs offense. Stanley gets it, goes up for three again. Man! Mustangs take the lead. And timeout called by front range Christian. Mustangs right back in and the bench making noise as usual. <laughs> Thank you. You are. It's fun to listen to you. I get panned by my classmates for it, but whatever. I don't know why. What grade are you? Junior. Are you? Yeah. My season starts next my season starts next week. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is just filmed for the varsity, but I get bored. So this is just game film for them, but I get bored doing it, so I do commentary. Next year, we're looking to do it for real, though. Do you want to do this in college? Season? Journalism, uh, whether it's writing or... I definitely want to go into sports journalism. Journalism's tough, man. Yeah, front range Christian. Looking to get... Looking to get the lead back, but energy back into the Mustangs. Mason Nutter went in on the uh, during the timeout for Jansen went back in for Henry Stetcher, I think. I don't know who came out there, but uh, the important thing is uh, Mason Nutter is in. Stanley goes up for three again. Almost made three threes in a row.
something. Not sure what he's looking for. Uh, maybe a landing basket or something. Stanley goes up with it. Oh, it, in and out of the net, off the backboard, and then off the rim again. Doesn't, doesn't fall for Stanley. And the Mustangs' woes uh, shooting continue. And ball tipped out of bounds by Luke Stanley. And the uh, Falcons' ball. Five minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. That ball, that inbounded. And Christian trying to get back into the, trying to get the lead back. Luke Stanley picks it off and starts bringing it back up. Over to Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen goes up with it. Doesn't make it. And eventually, it's going to fall back into Chris Jansen. And it's a foul as well. And Mustang's going to be inbounding the ball. Over to Stanley. Stanley thought about it. And that one's going to be swatted away. Goes up. Oh, right open layup. And it goes in. What a surprise. Not a surprising at all. But they're still down by one. Under five minutes left in the half. And Riley Allen. It's a foul. And going to be down to Chris Jansen. It's going to be down to Chris Jansen in the ball here. Stanley. Over to Riley Allen. Back to Stanley. Stanley. Over to Chris. Tries to find Chris Jansen but doesn't. And Luke Stanley still has got the ball. Chris Jansen. Out behind the line, Riley Allen. Stanley looking for a lane to the basket. Mason Nutter, Mason Nutter goes up for three off the rim. He made one in the junior varsity game, but he is getting ever closer to his first varsity three-pointer. That one shot goes up, and once again, the Falcons find themselves on top. Really, really just an intense game, enticing basketball. What you want to see if you come to these games, definitely worth the $5 price of admission. Even here early in the early stages as Riley Allen puts that one up. And doesn't go in. Luke Stanley going to pick that one off. Riley Allen brings it up. Goes up. And the Mustangs go back on top by one. On the Riley Allen layup. And Riley Allen trying to get that one away. And... A mass substitution is Luke Stanley, Joel Decker, and Mason Nutter taken off in favor of Henry Stetner, Nolan Monash, and Ryan Mean. But in the meantime, a time. <laughs> Earlier today, uh, senior D.A. Harris no was honored no with uh, his uh, state championship plaque for track and field up there. Good to see uh, one of the most uh, legendary athletes in Denver Academy's history get his, get his due. That's inbounded. It's being brought up by the Falcons. Mustangs looking to get it back. And looks like he may have put a foot out of bounds there. Nope, never mind. It's uh, going to be the Falcons' ball. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but it is. Because I always, I'll be honest if I don't know. But. Front range looking for some more score offense in this game. A lot of action happening out behind the line. As that's a wide open shot for three. Misses. And eventually going to fall into the hands of Ryan Mead. And but will be brought up by Chris Jansen. Over to Nolan Monash. Monash for three. Really short for Nolan Monash. Mustangs captain. 17-16 Mustangs. That one's going to lay up. And once again, the Falcons have the lead. Nolan Monash brings it up. 
Got to find something here. Chris Jansen. Jansen goes up with it off the front of the rim and rebounded by the Falcons. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to go and really enticing first half of basketball. Find the rim again, front range Christian, trying to, that shot's up, and Chris Jansen going to rebound it, as both teams jockeying for the lead, and at times extending that lead, Monash finds it, a fairly open shot, doesn't go in, Monash struggling to find the net in this one, uh, I haven't seen that a lot this season. That shot goes up, finds the net, and it's going to be 20-17. to 17. In the favor of Front Range Christian. Henry Stetner, Chris Jansen taking off for the freshman duo for the freshman duo of Luke Stanley. No, that may or may not have been the right choice. We'll, we'll see. A lot, of, a lot of depth on this basketball team this year. And hasn't been something you could say in a lot in years past. As Monash puts that one up for three. Doesn't make it. Almost rebounded by Neen, but isn't. As Luke Stanley and Riley Allen try to get the ball back before it crosses the line into their defensive zone. Finds it. Luke Stanley with it. Over to Riley Allen. Allen for three. Bang! Mustangs tie it. On O'Reilly Allen, three-pointer. That shot up, rebounded by Monash, who finds Riley Allen way up ahead of everybody else. That shot up. with a chance to give the Mustangs the lead. You do a good job. Thank you. Oh, Riley Allen's Allen looking to extend a two-point lead for the Mustangs with 50 seconds left. Shot up. Nothing, nothing's gonna happen there. And very quickly, clock is stopped again. And it's gonna be front ranges ball out near hey, be smart. the opposite hoop. <clears throat> smart four. Less than a minute left. Another defending. Riley Allen tries to tip it away. Luke Stanley gets the ball. Goes up to the left. And two free throws. And more. Free throws for Luke Stanley. First one goes up. Off the front of the rim. 33 and a third seconds left. seconds left. That one brought up by front range. You gotta think, are they gonna, will they try? Last shot, no they won't because Luke Stanley's gonna pick it off. And more free throws for the Mustangs, it would appear. Mustangs firmly in the bonus in the boost rating down from the Mustang student section and 
from Mark Wood. Let's go to Three to twenty for Luke Stanley. The first one goes up. In no trouble at all. Twenty-four to twenty. Makes the second shot, and the Mustangs have a five-point lead with 20 seconds left to play in the first half. Front range, Chris 